Roger! Kill a wretched demon! Rawr. I, uh... I got a sword for Christmas. But I also got this. This is the Halo Infinite art book. Much like most art books out there, they show a lot of concepts of things that ended up being in the game and stuff like that. A lot of interesting drawings, some cool stuff, but there are some really interesting things within this book that are not in the game at all. And how some of the things within this book could definitely turn out to be like future campaign DLC, or at least reveal the philosophy behind future DLC as well. So if you guys like these analytical type of videos, make sure you tap that like button as it lets me know you wanna see some more content like this. If you wanna stay up to date with everything going on with Halo, make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. So I pulled out some of the interesting aspects of the art book guys, so, so you guys can check this out. The first thing I wanna showcase right here is the, looks like a Spartan mech of some kind. I assume that's a Spartan robot in a way because of the similar helmet design that we have up here with the helmet. Similar types of like armor coating or like armor padding around with like the shoulder pads. They have like the similar kind of call signs written on the Spartan robot itself. Obviously this did not make it into the game, but you never know, this could be room for DLC where maybe if you have fully maxed out forward operating bases within the campaign, you're able to call in like these mech assaults that could maybe replace Marines and in some kind of way. I think it'd be a really cool idea to see if they kind of play around with this. I know previously within Halo Wars 2, they played around with like the mech suit idea, right? With like the Sergeant Johnson mech suit character, if I remember correctly. That was pretty interesting. But if we go full robotic, I think this is what we would see and definitely would be a cool thing to have within the campaign. This next image I want to show you guys, the different kind of biomes it looks like they kind of played around with when it comes to at least concepting Halo Infinite's art style. You can definitely tell this is early on, right? Because you see like the rocket launcher right here in the lower left corner, which is very reminiscent of like the Halo 5 rocket launcher. Uh, and the Spartan right down here, does look very familiar to like a Halo 5 Spartan as well. So this could be very early designs of just saying like, hey, this is kind of like environments that we would like to try out. Uh, but this would be amazing to see like kind of like a mossy woodland kind of thing because that's certainly like Pacific Northwest. Like I live up in the Pacific Northwest and this is all over the place. I'm surprised we didn't actually even see anything like this, at least with the vanilla launch of the campaign. But this certainly would be a really cool addition, almost like a Raiders of the Lost Ark hidden temple kind of thing going on with it. I think it would be super cool. Now these next four bits of concept art are very similar and are very interesting. As you can see right here, this looks like Master Chief running towards some kind of evil forerunner thing. It's not quite a guardian. I wouldn't call it that. It's definitely to the scale of a Guardian though. Could it be Mendicant Bias? I doubt it as it doesn't really call back to the comic depiction of that character too much. This might be something completely different. And also could have just been cut because it's so similar to a Guardian that they probably didn't want to put it in the game. But let's scroll down a little bit longer. You see a very similar kind of situation here. Like it was kind of like a monitor of some sorts within this gigantic structure. Kind of similar that we had with that monitor fight that we had within the campaign. Maybe it was brought down to that level from this kind of idea. And it looks like we had that similar idea played again. So they really had some sort of some sort of concept when it comes to large forerunner enemy kind of popping up over the ground like a guardian type of thing. But this next image right here is very very interesting. Now it does look like along the same lines of like these previous four images that I showcased you guys right here, but definitely on a smaller scale. But take a look at these three red dots lined up in a very specific way. This reminds me a lot of that Halo Infinite campaign trailer of 2020. Because we had this situation right here within the 2020 campaign trailer, which we play real quick guys, you can see that, yeah, that definitely looks very familiar to what we're looking at right here. So this really could be something that was modeled out, tested out in some capacity to where we could maybe see it as like DLC down the future. Maybe this is offensive bias and we don't really know. We've never seen an actual image or anything about offensive bias besides like a logo. But these three red dots in this situation are very reminiscent of these three dots and very kind of pretty much exactly the same almost. Now in this constant dart, you can see that they're kind of like out in the woods and there's a lot of fire going on. Uh, I don't really see that when it comes to this image. I think this might be more of an interior forerunner structure as a lot of like smooth geometric shapes a lot of right angles and things like that so i don't think this is out in the woods so something different happened but this is something that was cut content from halo infinite's campaign that certainly has spent time probably voice acted modeled they test out gameplay like they were probably planning to put this in the game probably until joseph staten came in and kind of cleaned up trimmed up the fat a little bit when it came to halo infinite's campaign so this situation right here could very much be future dlc that we have for the campaign of halo infinite this next Next image showcases two weapons that didn't quite make it into the full release of the game, but one of them actually is in the game files. This top weapon, I can't really tell what it is. It looks kind of like a shotgun, but attached with a gravity hammer into it. I don't really know what's going on 
talking about this one. This one though, we actually have seen in some uh, cut gameplay files, courtesy of Alpha Archive from Game Cheat here, he kind of hacks into the uh, the files where it kind of showcases some interesting aspects of Halo Infinite that are probably hidden in the game files right here. And this weapon is like fully modeled out. Obviously it's not scanned or it's very, very, very early and rudimentary, but this certainly could be like DLC weapons that we could see coming into Halo Infinite later on in its lifespan. And judging by this image right here, this is definitely a brute banished weapon. So definitely looking forward to it. Will we see this upper one come into it? I would, may have possibly. I haven't seen any cut content videos or images of this weapon above, so we'll just have to wait and see. But definitely this one down below, we could expect to see this one fully come into Halo Infinite at some point. Next is an excerpt from the art book, which kind of gives you a little bit of philosophy of what they're going to be probably doing with campaign DLC of Halo Infinite, saying the ring is fragmented and each area has its own flavor, making this world exciting to explore. These concepts represent the most intact area of the world, so you can enjoy the beauty of the Pacific Northwest biome. But the main takeaway is definitely saying that the ring is fragmented and each area has its own flavor. So they continue on showcasing like the most intact sections being like the more probably the stuff that we played within the campaign, but we certainly could see some different kind of biomes come around for Halo Infinite. As you can see this bit of concept art right here, which showcases like a whole nother section that's like complete desert wasteland kind of thing, which is kind of like what we have with Behemoth, which doesn't really exist any kind of form in the campaign. You can kind of see how what they're talking about. I believe this might be the philosophy moving forward with DLC and expansions when it comes to Halo Infinite's campaign that each new fragment that they find or something like that will be brought into the game through like these islands that we have right now throughout the campaign. They each one probably bringing its own type of flavor. This next image showcases something very interesting about what they kind of had planned for Zeta Halo, right? A lot of wildlife throughout these images right here, but interesting thing is also these sentinels flying throughout the world, looking like they're kind of doing like a rebuilding of Zeta Halo, which I, at least for my playthrough, I didn't really see a whole lot of that happening. Joseph Satan mentioned in a previous Inside Infinite update talking about how the open world gives you different options like, oh, hey, there's some Marines up there, go save them. Oh, there's a trail of sentinels going into a cave. What's going on, going on down there? I definitely didn't see that sentinel section happening. Like imagine we had this gigantic set piece happen with playing the campaign. That would be absolutely insane. This is all early concepts because you can see that Master Chief right here is actually using like his Halo 5 armor set right here. But something that was kind of giving me an idea of like what you could pull off with uh, the world of Zeta Halo and having something like this happen would be absolutely epic. And here in the 2018 campaign trailer, you actually see these sentinels flying around right here. If we kind of back it up just a little bit before Master Chief takes up the screen right here, you can see in the right hand side over here, these are sentinels flying towards this section area. Also over here towards the left. So these aren't birds. These are definitely sentinels flying in. As you see, they don't really have any kind of animation of them like flapping wings. So it's definitely sentinels. And we didn't really see them play much within the open world, certainly throughout the campaign missions. They certainly were there during the missions, but not so much in the open world. So we could see maybe it's like some kind of expansion heavy with like the Forerunners kind of maybe taking back the ring in some capacity. I mean, I don't know, there's a lot of different possibilities, but I'm just kind of pointing out interesting things I found within this art book. And that's all the interesting stuff that I found within this book. You can buy it for yourself, guys, if you want to check it out. I highly recommend it. It's just some cool concept stuff that early progress kind of stuff that you get to see and kind of take a little glimpse into the development of Halo Infinite. But thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.